Bentine. So tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the after effects that you have been experiencing there as a result of Hurricane Patricia. Well, the remnants of Patricia uh, crossed Texas, but most most of about three inches of rain here. But some places in, in in central and north Texas had as much as 18 inches of rain from that storm. The 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 wind had diminished considerably going over the mountains in Mexico, so we didn't have much wind. But they had a lot of rain, and mm-hmm. some of the some of the towns surrounding here had 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 five or six inches of rain. We only had about three. But mm-hmm. The people who really got hit were farther north. Yes, it uh, it definitely has had um, its effects. Um, do you find that your experience in going through um, storms, typhoons, hurricanes in your career um, <clears throat> does that does that make it easier for you to kind of navigate through them now? Well, I, the nice thing about being ashore is the uh, the house doesn't roll and pitch. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> and, and you don't yes. worry about sinking. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay, so we have uh, we have a couple of other um, stories in here. I wanted you to elaborate on. Um, <clears throat> going um I'm backtracking a little bit um to the uh to the seventh voyage um that's in your book um when you were in Honolulu it was the first time you had been in the island can you share with us a little bit about that yes uh an old uh, boyhood friend of mine and his wife and family lived there uh, Judson and, and, and Leloy Banks, and uh, Judson and I had had, had uh, well, we we had been in together as boys, quite members of the boys' choir in, in our church in our hometown, and uh, one one of the adventures that we had shared as sixteen year olds, we 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 rode the train from our little hometown in Missouri to to Washington D.C and spent three weeks there with his married sister and, and her husband and, and went sightseeing in, in Washington, D.C. And this is the summer before Pearl Harbor occurred. And mm-hmm. and we uh, we really did a lot of sightseeing. Uh, one thing that I, I didn't mention in my book that I, I should have because it was a kind of an earth-shaking event looking back on it, uh, we 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 needed passes to go to the Senate and and also the House of Representatives, and one of the senators from Missouri was Harry Truman, and we went to his office to get passes to 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 observe the the Senate, and Harry Harry came out and shook hands with us. I shook hands with Harry Truman when I was 16 years old, when when he was wow. just a senator, and of course later he was an outstanding president. Wow, but that in, is. Uh, <clears throat> in, in, anyway, uh, Judson lived in in Hawaii, and and uh, and he uh, he and his wife liked it very much. They complained a little about the cost of living was higher, I believe. But so, where did you go from Honolulu? Captain Ventine, looks like we might have a little bit of a, <clears throat> a sound uh, break up there. So let's take the opportunity to take a brief commercial break, and then when we come back, we will hear a little bit about the leaving of Honolulu and the voyage that happened next. Join us on XRQK Los Angeles and Airtime America on November 17th at 12 noon for the show Panama Canal Expansion, Experts Hoisting Warning Flags, the original canal built in 1914 and called one of the world's greatest engineering feats 
has been undergoing expansion, but the warning signals may need to be louder because danger may be lurking under the construction Captain waves. Captain Van Tine is for not this available. show featuring shipmasters, captains, navigational experts, seamen, and environmentalists all lending their voice and expertise on the expansion. That's November 17, 2015 at 12 noon on XRQK Los Angeles and Airtime America. You can learn more about the show by going to internationalradiotours.org. Click on News Shows. Welcome back to International Radio Tours. Um, we were having another little one of those uh, air pocket blips, so we took advantage of the uh, spot and took a commercial break. But we now are back online with Captain Van Tyne, and he was sharing um, his story with uh, us about his trip to Honolulu and actually shaking the hand of Harry Truman when he was senator. That was a really good story. <laughs> and definitely it's not in your book. I would have remembered that one. Captain Ventine? Well, we do know that um, throughout the uh, week since uh, Hurricane Patricia um, uh, touched down and um, there have been many issues and problems. Um, we know that we're coming into the fall season as well. And um, with the storms, I know in Seattle, it's uh, pretty overcast and uh, cloudy and gray. And we've had a few of our own um, episodes of wind and rain and storms ourselves. So, um, I want to remind everyone that uh, some nautical tales and Captain uh, Wilbur H. Van Tyne is on International Radio Tour. And you can learn more about his work and his books by going to somenauticaltales.com. And you can also go to internationalradiotours.org. Um, Some Nautical Tales is quite a fascinating book. One of the things that I like about it is it's not only a book about his voyages in the sea, but you really get to take a look at details of a life that has spent um, as the world scene has changes. From going from peacetime into wartime, some of the glimpses that he shared with us today when they were overseas and how one year he was there and then the next year he went back, the entire scene had changed, demeanor of the people had changed, their outlook, their future. All of this is in his book. And it's one of the reasons that we have continually promoted some nautical tales because the stories from our seniors and our elders are priceless. And it's important that we preserve these stories in history and continue to share them for the children in our future. Because history is important and Captain Van Tyne has done such a great job in uh, writing and relating these experiences and it's always a treasure to have him on the program and share with our listeners all these different things that he learned and he saw and what he could take away from them. So we encourage everyone to go to somenauticaltales.org, also internationalradiotours.org, and there are also links on storytellerscampfire.org as well. 
So we will be back again at the campfire next week, and we will be sharing an interesting collection of stories from Kindness of Strangers with Charlie Checkers. So thank you again for joining us, and we thank the sponsors of the program, and we will see you back at the campfire next time. But at the end of the program, stay tuned, and we have a little bit of music for you from Billy Brandt. Stay tuned. Work can be fun, but it isn't fun if you get hurt on the job. Wear the proper safety equipment. When you're working outside, drink plenty of water, and don't be afraid to ask for help from your coworkers. Remember, your boss is responsible for your safety. Know your limits and your rights. Work hard and be safe. For more information, visit OSHA.gov or call 800-321-OSHA. A message from the U.S. Department of Labor. Hello? Lisa, it's Janet. What's wrong? Oh, Lisa's the bridesmaids' dresses for Lindsay's wedding. Oh, no. Tell me they're not fuchsia. Oh, they're not fuchsia. Then what? Oh, they're gaudy, aren't they? All ruffles and lace. <laughs> Great. We'll look like a chorus line. No, no, no. They're really quite simple. It's the material I'm most concerned about. Oh, I knew it. I specifically said no chiffon. I mean, it's so passe. I just don't it's think... It's not chiffon. Then what? They're made out of old yellow pages. What? I didn't catch that. Sounded like you said they're made out of old yellow pages. Yep, I'm afraid you heard right. It's got something to do with recycling and good karma on her wedding day. Oh, that's special. I'm not going to know whether a guy's checking me out or just looking for the number of a good mechanic. Funny. Very funny. There's a better way to recycle your outdated Dex phone books. Find out just how easy we've made it in your neighborhood. Call 1-877-2-GET-DEX or log on to DexNose.com. I love you on the dresser mirror With red lipstick she drew a heart And I knew in that moment That it was time for her and I to part Leaving leaves you with nothing Nothing never seems to me She wrote I love you on the mirror The only reflection that I saw was me Je me retourne, il n'y a personne. Mon amour est parti. She wrote, I love you on the mirror. 